So here we are in round two at Malaysia. Currently have no points at the moment, but we will try and change that in this race. So without further ado, let's see how we get on. Welcome to F1. It's now time for the important stuff. Time for qualifying here at the Malaysia Grand Prix. Last year we saw a wonderful race here in Malaysia and I'm expecting another fascinating weekend to come here in Kuala Lumpur. Well, there are at least three or four other drivers that could be strong contenders for a front row start tomorrow. So it's difficult to predict who will come out on top, but it's certainly going to be an exciting qualifying session today. Okay, so straight off, one lap with the option tyre. Let's see how we go. Joe's car first off should be uh, with Bottas. Straight line speed of the Williams cars. And then as soon as it hits the corner, it should switch to Hamilton, as it does. And we go horrendously wide there. Slightly better on the second corner. Hamilton already pulling a gap away from us. I can't see us getting uh, pole position today. The speed is just way too much. Coming up to this next corner, going wide again, just pulling it back at a stupidly slow speed. Hamilton is disappearing into the distance already. A long sweeping left hander to a long sweeping right. To one of my favourite corners of the game. Unfortunately, I never get it right. A bit too wide there again. And this lovely hairpin, brilliant. A lot of overtaking opportunities on that corner. And catching up to Hamilton, which is what not what I expected there. And one of the worst corners of the game, but I hate it. I never get it right. And coming down the hill again. Coming up to the coming up to the penultimate corner. Very tricky corner, even with the uh, racing line on. And then power on with DRS as instantly as we cross the DRS activation line. But there's no way I'm going to catch up with Hamilton now, so we may have to settle for around 8th, 7th, 8th. <laughs> it, changes, it changes in the top left, but it looks like 8th with DRS on again. And 8th position it is. There he is, looking happy again. Must be doing exceeding our expectations in the qualifying. Yes, so there you go. Eighth position, two and a half seconds behind. Perfectly today. Whether this will translate into race pace tomorrow, well, we'll just have to wait and see. And Fernando Alonso in thirteenth. So possibility for points all round on this race. Let's hope for the best. Welcome to the Sepang International Circuit, where the cars are already on the grid as we gear up to start the main event. Lewis Hamilton starts on pole today, and with the blistering pace he's shown all weekend long, it shouldn't come as a surprise if he leaves the opposition in his wake during the race today. There are a lot of variables that can cause a driver to be happy with the car one day to struggling with it the next. Track temperature, excessive tyre wear, or a change of fuel load can all affect the feel of a car. He'll definitely be hoping that when the race gets underway, he's got the same balance as he enjoyed in qualifying. It was a good win last time out for Lewis Hamilton, who will still be feeling buoyant going into today's race. He knows he's got the beating of the rest of the field as long as he doesn't hit any reliability issues with his Mercedes. Well, Lewis can beat anyone on his day. His pace has been second to none at times. He just has a knack of finding those extra tenths which others can't. I'm expecting him to be particularly strong at the end of the stints today. So here we are on the grid, stopping at lap 6 or 7 to go on to the prime tyre. Can't really change much, so let's go. Today, let's try to get fifth or better. Talking position is fifth. Let's see how good of a start it is. We have got a average start. We're actually pulling away from the ones behind us, so we're doing really well. Brilliant start from us here, being overtaken by Ricardo and Rojan though. That's no no problem at all. As we come into the first corner, a lot of slow right hander. Just weaving a bit, just trying to get a feel for the car with these new tyres on. 
and accelerating out of the second hand corner, coming around onto the third corner. Oh, and we've been nudged and we've spun again. Second race in a row. If you look here, the Red Bull actually brakes for no reason whatsoever. And I try to avoid, you can see his head tilt forward there. And I try to avoid him, have nowhere to go. Very lucky not to damage my front wing or burst his tyre. So unlike the last race, we still have... Bollock in from the pit lane there, but uh, we still have a chance to catch up with the back of the pack and hopefully get some points back. Second race in a row, so he's not doing well. Not well at all. Okay, here we are at the end of the first lap, coming on to the potential corner on the first of the two long straights, right behind the Manamarusha car of, well, I can't even pronounce his name, I don't remember. Trying to make some place up anyway. Trying to get in there on the hairpin, but doesn't don't manage quite to get it. But using trying to use my superior speed, which just doesn't seem to appear until the second half of this long straight. And going around him on the outside there, Ooh, a bit of a kiss, and flying in, outbreaking him onto the first corner, going horrendously wide. And now setting my eyesight on Stevens. The other man in the car. Hopefully we'll be able to overtake a few more than just these two, like last week. Okay, we've now caught up to Stevens, coming down to that wonderful hairpin. I'm going to try and take him around the outside here, but he cuts across me in front, so I dart on the inside, managing to outbreak him, going into the hairpin and making that move stick. in front and going horrendously wide on that horrible corner that I don't like again. Okay now we come up to lap 6, Ericsson still in front of me here, we're in P17, coming up to those wonderful set of corners, I cannot remember what they're called, with that hairpin again, so we're going to try the same move, but not quite close enough for the outside. Starting on the inside, cutting in, and we're in front of him as well now, with Kvyat in front of us. Doing and we've got a pit in, that's the first time I've known about that, with Kvyat in front. Well, lap 6, it is, a lap, it is our pit lap, so let's see if we can't get past some of these and go in and wide again on that penultimate corner. Do I have the DRS? I do have the DRS, so that should help us keep the distance between uh, Ericsson behind us. And the blue lines for the pits. So here we go into the pits. Hopefully we'll have a nice quick one. The sands we have in front of us at the moment. Hello, right. Maldonado. Um, and, and Maldonado, I think. Yeah, no, Maldonado is a bit further on. Two point four seconds. Brilliant work. Who's behind, Sands is behind us, and Maldonado. So we've overtaken two cars in the pits. So that's brilliant work. Brilliant work. And I all forgot, I forgot about the first corner. <laughs> okay, we've got Holt for Kulkenberg in front. P16. Six more places. I think we're going to be aiming for, you know, a point maybe. Tenth position at a push. We're really going to need to put a foot down and try and save these tyres. Hulkenberg going quite slow there as we come round the long right hand turn and Hulkenberg seems to have just put his brakes on for no apparent reason as we go flying past him. Something's wrong with Hulkenberg's car because we're just pulling away too easily. I'm going really wide there on the second to the last corner with Felipe Nazar in front of us. Hopefully having DRS on. Yep. Hoping to overtake Felipe now. As we find out that Hamilton just took the lead. Oh, look, catching up with him immensely on that last corner. The DRS on. 60% on the 8th lap, out of 14. We could move up into. Uh, could move up into the rich mix of fuel. Little touch there. We have moved up into 10th position, overtaking our teammate Alonso. 
and we try and overtake Felipe Nazar there on the outside, but oh, just braking and just me running into him. I don't know why the AI are doing that, but hopefully it hasn't damaged us. I don't think it has. No, nope. as you can tell on the uh, indicator on the right there. We're now trying to catch the speed that we need to get past Felipe Nazar. He's really holding us up now. Let's do it where we've done most of the overtaking and to this hairpin, but what are you doing? So slow. So slow. We could overtake him easily. But for some reason he just has a bit of power there and we have to dive at the inside. And yes, he's just managed, just slipped in behind us. So we have plenty of uh, clean air now to run in to catch up to Grosjean, who's in P8 and going horribly wide there again. I really don't like that corner. So that was lap 8, and now we are in lap 13. It's the final lap. We have stayed in ninth position, and Grosjean is right in front of us. The tyres are gone. Felipe Nazar is still behind us, but a fair way. So we're going to the first corner here, and not too bad. Still slow. Clipping the apex for that one. Really pushing to catch Grosjean here. Difference in points between 9 and 8. Very big when you've got no points at all, like us. And we've got 25% of fuel remaining. I am on rich mix at the moment for the fuel. Desperately trying to catch Grosjean. Long left turn. I think it's safe to say we're not going to get overtaken by Felipe Nazza. He's, he's not even on the mini map. But if we're going to catch him, it's going to be these sets of corners where the AI is notoriously slow. I'm coming down to that hairpin. He's too far ahead. I don't think we're going to make this stick. And our only hope is now is to try and get within one second, but I don't think it's going to work. And Lewis Hamilton wins the race. Of course he does. And no, we're not going to get DRS. So I think we are going to have to settle for ninth position on this one, I'm afraid. But still, points to points are going horribly wide again. No DRS. Brakes are on <laughs> a blue, so they're cold. So I think it's just a case of... Whoa! Going horribly wide again. But ninth position it is. Not bad, considering we got knocked off on the first lap again and dropped into 10th but it dropped into last but 9th position we'll take that still a bit glitchy as always but not happy so it was the german national anthem that was played on the podium for our race winners today mercedes it really two points that's what we, so we're uh, we've got points which is a bonus <laughs> so thanks for watching if you enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment and subscribe as well and i shall see you in round three next week thanks for watching bye